So let's get some more now. Our internet reporter, Abby Tatton, is uh, joining us with some online resources that can help you monitor conditions closer to where you are, where you might be interested in seeing what's going on. Abby? Well, these are actually the sea surface temperatures which have contributed here to this storm. From the Coastal Ocean Observation Lab at Rutgers University, it monitors those sea surface temperatures around the Gulf and in the Atlantic as well. You can click on the different regions. Here, this is the Gulf, and to orient you, here is Florida. The yellow, the orange, the red areas of the sea surface, those are all above 80 degrees. The National Weather Service says hurricanes don't form unless the water temperature is above 80 degrees. This part here is called the loop current. When a storm passes over this area, it gains in intensity. It gets more energy. Look at the picture from today. That one was from a few days ago. This today, this huge white area here. This now is Alberto. This is where it's traveling over all these resources available online at thecoolroom.org. Thank you, Abby, for that. We're going to have much more on Tropical Storm Alberto this year's hurricane season. That's coming up this hour.